It is not new news that we find ourselves in a situation where we are collectively facing serious environmental degradation and intergenerational challenges. Everywhere we turn, there is a fight, a battle, to save something, to protect something, to bring awareness to an issue. And those responsible for waging that war on the planet, for exploiting natural resources, for draining and poisoning our rivers, cutting down the forests and dynamiting the land, are our supposed leaders. So-called leaders who are influenced and led by corporate greed. It is interesting to have witnessed over the past two years how our government can so quickly shut down all of society to protect us from a pandemic, but they cannot quickly respond to an environmental emergency. Why is it that they can follow the health experts advice, but not the environmental experts advice? Is it because it's not visible enough, not tangible enough? This government creates no new policy to strengthen environmental laws. They only weaken them. They only reduce their responsibility and deflect at every opportunity. It is appalling and completely unacceptable. It is an absolute disgrace to put it lightly and enough is enough. Whilst New South Wales and South Australian governments recognise the uniqueness of the Strasleki koala through attempts to translocate our animals to those states, currently no Victorian state environment policy acts to conserve this genetically unique koala population. When will the government step in and act before it is too late? So next year, we hope to nominate the Strasleki koala under the National Environment Law, the EPBC Act. And although we recognise that it may not be perfect, we hope to put in some protective measures against land clearers. Thank mm -hmm. you. 